The Gift 2015 Movie Review Hey what's up guys it's Josh here today I want to do a little movie review on a movie called The Gift from 2015 not to be confused with The Gift from 2000 which I also just reviewed both of them are kind of unknown movies that are very good very R-rated and both kind of mysteries so Anyways, guys, let's just jump right into the pros because I'm sure I'll talk about the story at some point. So the pros of this movie, I had a lot. The acting here was all very, very good. It is pretty low budget, so you don't have too many actors and actresses, but now especially Jason Bateman. Now I've always liked Jason Bateman as an actor, but his range in here is phenomenal. The character that he has to play and the progression here is fantastic. Like he is so so impressive as an actor and i love his progression from beginning to end here now the main big point of this movie the main reason people were going to watch it is the twist now it has a lot of good twists and turns throughout the movie but the final twist is just such an exclamation point it's something so sinister so outside the box something i've never seen done before something i never expected to have happen and what I liked the absolute most about it was there was several, at least three, straight up clues that lead you right into that solution. So when you get this finale and you figure out everything that happened, there is multiple points where like, oh, this happened here, that happened here. It's like, I can't believe I didn't put all this together. You know what I mean? So the twist is fantastic. It's outside the box. I've never seen anything like it. I've seen some uh, mystery movies recently where I felt like there was no hint of the mystery and at the last second, oh, this is this is how it was the whole time. And it's like, man, without those little breadcrumbs to rewatch and be like, oh, they were letting me know. I don't appreciate a reveal like that. And I absolutely loved the reveal here. That's pretty much where the pros end. But I mean, what else do you need besides a really, really good twist and some really, really good acting, especially from Jason Bateman? really like those two aspects here and the fact that it was so such a good twist really just elevates this into stardom all right guys if i were to come into any cons here now it is a little bit low budget um there isn't that many different changes in scenery there isn't that many different people here it's mainly the guy bringing the gifts and then um jason bateman and his wife and i do gotta say for the first 40 minutes of this movie it's a little bit cringy because the same situation happens over and over and over. It's like Jason Bateman and his wife are hanging out. The gift guy comes up. It's so awkward. The whole It's just awkward, awkward, awkward. The couple, Jason Bateman and his wife, are like, yeah, that's awkward. I wasn't really feeling that. And that happens about five different times. So it's just like, oh, he brings the gift. Oh, that was awkward. Oh, he stopped by again. Like, And then it was just like... Oh my gosh, it was just the same thing over and over. One thing that bothered me, now this is in 2015, so ring cameras were a little bit less popular, but they're supposed to be in Los Angeles and people in LA have had cameras up at their houses for years. I mean, probably since the 90s, you know what I mean? So the fact that this guy, who they are obviously a little bit weirded out by, just keeps coming over at random times. Like he comes over and just puts fish in their pond and then leaves food at the front door. Like the first time that he would come to my house that I didn't want him to come there, I would immediately put up a camera. Maybe the second time, maybe the third time. And it was just like, I couldn't believe that they didn't have an idea of that or worked around that plot line somehow because he just keeps coming over. And it's not like he had good experiences with them they don't really like him the most you know what i mean so but besides that guys besides the low budget and this the re repetitive opening i really don't have any other cons of this movie and again it's something that really stuck with me and i've watched a lot of good movies since this movie but there's just something special something unique about this movie that it really sticks with you it really just impresses you and again once you see the twist once you see how diabolical it is and once you see how they left you all the breadcrumbs, I just think that in and of itself makes this movie so, so good. So I would say this movie is an 8.5 out of 10, and I'd say buy, try, or pass. For me, if you like good mysteries, I will say this one's a buy. I loved it. Definitely check it out, The Gift from 2015. So anyways, guys, we're on the road to 50,000 subscribers, and I couldn't do it without any of you guys. I hope you guys are the best. Having a great day out here. Hopefully having a great day at home. See you all in the next video. Peace.